What's going on guys, it's your boy James here, Beards and Cars, back with another video. If you guys are new to my channel, thank you for subscribing. If you guys are just stopping by, well, consider hitting that big red subscribe button down below. Now, that being said, guys, I want to jump straight off this topic today, but before we do, you guys remember to drink your water. Today, what I want to talk about is a beard oil company. Something that I just ran across, seen a few other reviewers talking about. This one is very important to me because this product right here has become, by far, one of my favorites. So, today we're going to be talking about Husky Beard. This is the Royal Black. And by the way, guys, look at that bottle. Kind of reminds you of like a, I don't know. When I first saw this, I, th I thought, I just automatically thought of cologne. I just, for some reason, automatically thought of cologne. This product right here is pipe tobacco, vanilla, and amber, okay? So, guys, when I first started out buying beard oils, any kind of beard products, coffee and pipe tobacco, or tobacco period for that matter, was not one of anything that I would even consider purchasing, okay? I just, that just, it didn't sound attractive to me at all. So as time grew on, I started picking up a couple of these scents, you know, the, the tobacco scents, and they just really nail it on the head. So for some reason, something in them just makes me, it just makes me feel real manly when I'm wearing this scent. And it smells so smooth. Let me see here. There's no other way to explain this, guys. You have to smell this. Just, just smell it. Just smell it, guys. Just, just smell it. Smell it! Nah, but for real, guys, this is, um... This is this stuff is amazing, man. Husky Beards, y'all nailed it, man. If y'all are watching this video, you guys nailed it on this scent right here. Man, this Royal Black is amazing. So this... You gather up every bit of it. You get the tobacco, you get the vanilla, you get a small hit of amber, and it all equals up for one manly, smooth-smelling beard oil, guys. It's not, I just put some in a little, a little while ago. It's not, uh, it's not greasy. It's not heavy. It's just about perfect, you know? Like I said, it's, uh... It's not real yellow, for those of you guys that don't like yellow. Uh, that yellowish tint, it comes in a very dark bottle, so it's just amazing, guys. The smell alone is worth, if I could, let me let me explain this to you. If I had to choose one beard oil to wear for just the rest of my life, okay, one beard oil just to wear forever, this would probably be it. There's one other one that I might pick, but this would be that one because it just smells that good, guys. Um, it has by far become one of my top favorites of 2020. What month are we in now? March. Okay, so we're in March right now. So March 2020, this is by far the best. This is one of my top new smells right here. So this is one of my new go-tos right here, guys. This one right here, if you guys can see that, hopefully this is the Royal Black. This has become one of my top favorites by all means. If you guys have tried Royal Black, Leave a comment down below, guys, and let other guys, let some other brothers know what you guys think of it and that I'm not bullshit. And then also, uh, if you guys have any other type of uh, pipe tobacco, tobacco scents that you guys recommend, leave a comment down below on those too because I'd like to check those out in the future. And um, that may be one of the new ones that's talked about uh, later on in the future. As always, guys, any questions, comments, concerns, leave them down below. Uh, I know a lot of you guys watch the channel. Make sure you're subscribed, man. I can kind of see the analytics. I have more people watching that don't, I have more people watching that ain't subscribed than I do that are subscribed, which is fine, guys. But make sure you're hitting the subscribe button down below. Guys, if you have any questions, drop them down below. I pretty much reply to everybody that leaves a comment. And if it's something I feel like I can't reply to, then I will try to make a video on it, okay? So your comment may actually be the next video. So with that being said, guys, see you in the next one. Hope this helps somebody out. Peace.